talked about the feet. Guys, step on in, come on in. This is big toe, gripping. These are not exactly a replica of human feet. Exactly like yeah. <laughs> Ian, your foot's like this, I think, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gripping, gripping, All right? You see this toed-in angle. This is, as I'm demonstrating, if you can see my feet, this is to get clawing power. If I was, like, uh, outside, I'm in the grass, you'll see, actually, I'll be ripping the grass up as I move, okay? So this is only for the, the, the st uh, stationary position. Once I begin to move or walk or turn, of course, energy's in the game. Body weight is changing, and you're going to need more than just this in an open side. So we practice turning in. This gives us this inward power, knee power, and you spend long, long hours training this until it becomes thoughtless and your legs are packed with power, springy power. I'm basically coiling the spring down as far as it will go. All of this so that when I open the door, I got a really, really, really powerful uh, back side. Okay? So that's the side, and then here's how I'd use it in the front. Okay? Back leg. Here's how I'd use it on the side. So we, we have basically two shapes in Wing Chun, and then that gives you all the other stances. So this is the first shape, that's the second shape, and then this would be a side fighting position, or a three-quarter fighting position, or a front fighting position. Okay? And I can have an opponent in any side, on any angle. I might be like this, a guy runs to my inside, now I'm in a three-quarter. I might be like this, he goes to my outside, I've got to turn and face him, things like that. Maybe I'm here, and they dip down to one side, and I don't change my feet, they would be on my side. And that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be able to fight a guy just because he changed positions. I shouldn't have to change my stance very much. Like changing and uprooting and moving, all of this leg replacement unhooks me to the ground and makes you susceptible to being grabbed and thrown. So if I was like this, and a guy blitz past my, my three, he passed the front, past the three quarters now to the side, um, I don't have to change. There's your punch, okay? If a guy gets past this, then you've got to turn the clock and chase him around the corner, okay? So we'll use that basic shift I'm going to try again here. <laughs> Big toe would be this side. Do, 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 do. And now what you're getting is power lines this way. Okay? I know. It's hard to see from that. So if you have this good, if you don't, do that. <laughs> so your feet might start like this. Okay? And when we put power down that line, okay, power down this line, I'm going to open the foot this way. So this foot will no longer exist. Right? You see it? I'm going to use the 45 degree number to give you that and that. I turn the corner on 45 degrees. Now the practice would be this. I'd spin a windshield wiper to the whole, all the way to the other side. Because I'm changing left and right so frequently, I'm going to do it as a heel spin okay, in training. When you're walking forward, it's quite natural for us to walk forward heel to toe. When you're walking backward, it's quite natural for us to go toe to heel. Okay? If you go um, toe to heel forward, it's, it's kind of an unnatural way and you've got to be really kind of agile to make that work. So we're generally going to peg our heels down and use that as a fulcrum. It's really easy. It's going to set, have a tendency to train us to set back rather than to set forward. Okay? If you're drifting back, it's very natural to be on your toes. If you're coming forward, we'd want to look to be um, in unison with our natural way, which would be a, a heel plant and then a toe step. Okay? So 45 degrees. Okay? I go this way. I go this way. I'm generally going to close the horse, then open the horse. Close the horse, then open the horse. Close it, and then open it. All right? Can we get a guy with a phone book? So these are classic drills. Phone book, you volunteer, come on. Oh, okay, that's fine. Next time, jump, take initiative. Put you over here. And to give you a hand drill that will help you practice uh, the most out of this, uh, this footwork drill, okay? It's a, it's a circling hand drill. I'm gonna circle my hand inside like this. We have a revolving circle. We call the inside whip, okay? You look like this on this side, you look like this on this side, and then when I run two of them, you have our classic chain punch, what we call a rolling punch, okay? Rolling jabs. So I have this, I could spend all day on this, but I'm not really going to get anything dynamic until I start turning the corners. Okay? So of course you can add that with your turn, we were just covering that, we were already in the contact point. Okay? And now if I'm rolling this, I get a little one-two combo, I'm going to give you guys some, some good stuff first. Okay? So if I'm already shifted, okay, let's say this is just a weighted position, I'll spiral this hand and do my jab, and when the next hand comes, I'll bring the shift. Okay? This one would spiral, this is the jab. And then the hit. Outside whip, inside whip, okay? Circle, hit, power transfer, okay? Watch my footwork. Okay? By the time the, the backhand hits, no matter what shape you take, uh, you have a power transfer, okay? So, you just quickly cut the corner. You're right, you're a good yeah. support, okay? So, hit, hit, hit. Hold. 
Hold the book like this, if you don't mind. Just so I'm not punching your fingers. Okay, a lot of people will slow, we turn, pivot, and we're going to quiet all that down. We're going to relate it to our early, early maneuvers. So, spiraling, hitting with power. Connect and turn. This is the classic way to get it, and then all of this so that you have your heavy hit. Okay? You're standing still, so obviously it's easy to hit him. If he has his hands up, this first one crashes in, and then I take over everything that was there next. All my power is now delivered through the turns. Okay, yeah? So I'm in this stance. I might step out and then step in when I deliver it, or I might be here measuring. We engage. And then that's it. I would just turn the corner this deep in, the, in, in where he's standing. Just turn. You okay? Yeah. So circling and hitting. That can be done with footwork, stepping footwork, can be done with turning footwork. Very, very simple. Okay? So circle. And then as soon as this hits, it's all in here. I don't typically try to put a lot of power in the jab. This is just for measuring the distance from the next hand. And then when I turn, okay? And he has to eat all that. Because uh, the back leg is the spring, you're going to transfer the most power. You okay? Yeah. All right? Those that are holding the book, just communicate how much you can take. So you can spend hours just drilling this in the air. Good? Yes, a good sport.